Good afternoon. Welcome to another video from Henry Media Group. This time we're going to go over how to generate a new self-signed certificate and update the Crestron VC4 PC3. First thing that you want to do, of course, is launch Toolbox. Once Toolbox discovers the VC4, go ahead and double click on the VC4, which will open two browser windows. One will be the Crestron virtual control and one will be the cockpit um, access DOS. So just go ahead and log in with the admin username and password. Once you log in as an administrator, you'll see that you'll need a software update and then you'll do the self-signed certificate first. So launch terminal, type in sudo regenerate cert.sh, which will be in the description below. And then it requires you to enter the admin's password. Once you enter the administrator's password, it'll go out and it'll start to generate the certificate. And once the script has finished, it'll ask you to type in the two following commands, sudo system ctl restart the HTTPD service and the sudo System CTL restart the virtual control dot service. And once that is done, you'll want to go to the Crestron Virtual Control Web GUI and you'll want to restart or relaunch that page, which will take you to the um, login page where you enter the admin's username and password. Once you go back to cockpit, you'll see install security updates and install all updates. To be able to do this, you have to download the updates first. So you go to terminal and then you will type in the path to the uh, home directory of home admin vc4 temp slash vc4. Once you're in that folder, you'll type in download vc4.sh. The very important thing to remember is VC needs to be capitalized or it will not work. Once the download is complete, you'll want to go back to the home directory and type in cd space slash home slash admin slash vc4 temp slash vc4. Once you are in that home directory, you'll type in sudo dot slash upgrade vc4 tac pc tac3 tac sh. And what this will do is unpack the download of the update. And the directions say that the download should take about 15 minutes, but we'll speed up the video. Once you have unpacked the download, you'll want to go to the software update tab. And then you want to click on install security updates. 
it'll say update was successful. Then you'll go to the overview tab and then you'll click on underneath health. Some packages need a system reboot for the updates to take effect. Go ahead and click on that text. Then you want to click on reboot system. Once the reboot pop-up shows up, change delay to no delay and then click reboot. At this point, you'll want to reconnect. The system will update, and once that's done, you'll be brought back to the login page for Cockpit. Enter the admin username and password. Once you log back in, you'll see that the exclamation point is gone next to Software Updates. From the Software Updates tab, click Install All Updates. And it'll tell you that your update was successful. At this point, your Crestron VC4 has generated its own self-certificate and has been updated. Thank you for watching another video from Henry Media Group on the Crestron VC4 PC3.